Check. Check. Hello, cameras. Action. I'm Randy Owen at number one for country, and of course we're taking you backstage at the Junos and talking to the uh, country Juno nominees, and great to see this guy nominated once again, Tim Hicks, with new tattoo. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, yeah. This is not your first time doing this, because this is what, I think your third nomination for album of the year. Yeah, yes. Um, is it getting old hat for you? <laughs> <laughs> is it ever old hat, Randy? I don't know, man. Uh, I, I, um, how do I answer this? It's, a wonder, it's wonderful to be invited to the party and to celebrate Canadian music. And just to be, uh, you know, because the nomination process, you're kind of handpicked a little bit. It's a small committee, from what mm -hmm. I understand. So that is really flattering to me. Uh, but I don't do this for awards. I do it because I love to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't say it's old hat. It's nice to come and, and be a part of the party. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, win or lose, that kind of thing really doesn't matter to me at this point. The fact that I get to go out and sing and tour around and play big rooms, and it's just that's fun enough for me, you know? I'm glad you said it's like going to the dance again because it's just like going to the dance with a different date this time. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, well, I mean, nice. just my date now, so, which is, yeah. And with us, Jeff Copeland, who yeah. uh, produced and, and has been writing with you for yeah, a couple for of years. years. For years. Earlier project. Good to see you again, yeah. Jeff. Good to yeah. see you. Cheers. How did you two guys meet? Um, it was through through Denny Carr, through uh, RGK. Um, you know, it, for the first record, uh, we were writing, and I think they wanted to put us together to see if we could come up with a little bit of chemistry, you know, uh, producer artist wise. Which, of course, is you know, Jeff's produced three of my four records at this point, and we're we're working on a fifth. So there you go. You know, would you say would you cor corroborate my story there? Oh, as, as soon as we met, we yeah. just hit it off. Yeah. Right away, and I think uh, what was the first song we wrote? Hell raising Hell good time. Raising good time. Yeah, wow. and I'll tell. And I have this. I know that I've exaggerated this because I I remember, <laughs> but I have this vision in my head of like going to uh, Jeff's studio in East Nashville and him answering the door because it's like kind of separate from his house at, at the time. And a screen door opens, and there, and I'm. I swear he was wearing no shirt, uh, <laughs> with a guitar on. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so play, playing, playing the riff that became Hell Raising Good Time because he was playing this thing and not plugged in, like just like guitar players do, just noodling on this thing. I said, what's that? And he's like, that's what we're going to write today. And then really it just became an interview of who I was and what I wanted to do. And that's, you know, grew up in a goody little small town, learned to college about booze and girls. That was all about me and what, how, how I had grown up. So, you know, shirtless Jeff Copeland uh, yeah. Starting the kicking off the, the I'm just gonna the set tunes. the record straight. Yeah, I was wearing a shirt. Yeah, were you? It? it was. I think it was one it might of your have been cutoff a, it shirts. Might have been a cutoff shirt. Yeah, but, yes. that's what it was. You, you did know. not see my nipples. Okay, thank God. Yeah. Thank God. It wasn't see-through. <laughs> no, it might have been, dude. Mesh, maybe. He, were, he wears some pretty, pretty interesting <laughs> stage attire. Yeah. So, what was it that that attracted you to each other? Like, what, what was the one quality that made you say, "Yeah, this is the guy I want to work with"? Two things. Uh, there was a, a McCartney-style Hofner bass hanging on the wall. Oh. And uh, he had uh, Star Trek Next Generation uh, bobbleheads in the studio. Really? And I was like, this is my guy. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> cool. That's, I'm not lying. Like that, but, you know, aside from uh, we instantly, uh, I could tell that he had kind of a rock thing going on, which, which I did, um, and uh, we had that in common. But... Um, you know, it was like little things like that that I was like, okay, in, uh, I feel very at home here. And, uh, and you know, and it, it's not like someone said, Jeff shall now be your producer. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, that whole process in the early days was very uh, one step at a time. Like, okay, come to Nashville and write some songs. And then it was, okay, you've written some songs. When can you come and write more songs? And then eventually it became, okay, we might be thinking about cutting something. What do you think about maybe maybe going in the studio with Jeff? And then it was, okay, we think you're going to go in the studio with Jeff, and then we're cutting, and then we think we're going you know, to put something out. So it was a very slow process in the early days. Um, and we just wind up, you know, Hitting it, hitting it off real fast, and, and becoming better friends than ever. You know. And this ain't the first time the two of you have been on an award show. I remember the CCMAs a couple of years ago. You actually performed yeah. with Tim on the show. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> that, was, that was great. Yeah. yeah. Well, and Jeff was out on the last tour too. He he popped in in Abbotsford on the last show and got up and did a bunch of stuff with us. And because of course we've written all those songs, you know, the Stronger Beer and Hell Raising Good Time and lots on the new record, New Tattoo, If the Beat's All Right, you know, all those songs. So it's uh, there's a lot of history there between us. 
Now, as far as the Junos go, mm -hmm. and I know you're such a fan of music, period. You're not, yeah. you're not just chained down to one genre. No, no. Who are you looking forward to seeing or hearing or running into? Oh. Or do, you have a, do you have a bucket list of people you want to meet? Yeah, I want to meet Corey Hart. Oh. Ah. Yeah, absolutely. With or without sunglasses? Uh, th yeah, that was my next thing. I want to see, does he really wear the sunglasses at night? He's rolling his eyes some, somewhere in, in Canada right now going, oh, God, someone's going to make the sunglasses joke. No, I mean, that, that guy was a staple on the radio when I was growing up. So, so to be in the room, um, you know, when he gets his Lifetime Achievement Award, I mean, mm. that's going to be pretty, pretty heavy. I hope we're around yeah. when you get your Lifetime oh, Achievement Award. Oh, fine. Really let's try. This is this is a different record business now, Randy. <laughs> let's, 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 well, since, since you brought up Star Trek and stuff like that, <laughs> let's do a little bit of time. Oh, no. Let's do a little bit of time travel here. All right. Twenty nineteen Tim Hicks. Yeah. If he could talk to two thousand nine Tim Hicks. Oh yeah. What would you tell him? Uh, to enjoy it more. I, and, and that's been a common thing for me. Like, I'm a worrier. Anybody that knows me well knows that about me, that I'm, I'm wound up pretty tight about, uh, about things that m maybe don't really matter uh, down the road. Um, how can I describe that any better? You're laughing because you know it. Um, you know, about, you know I, I agonize over material for a record or what song is going to be released to radio or how my video looks or uh, just because I want to do well and I want to... Um, continue to make music. So it's been a common thing for me when people ask me similar questions to think if I could go back and tell myself, enjoy the process, don't worry so much, and just be in the moment, you know? And, you know, when I'm, when I'm writing these songs, like the party type songs, uh, it's often not because I feel like I'm a party guy, it's because I want to be a party guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of, um, that's sort of where I'm coming from. Um, because it's, it's taken me a long time to be comfortable in my own shoes as an artist. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, advice for other artists. I mean, there are, there are two artists in the Juno category for mm -hmm. Album of the Year that have never been there before. Mm -hmm. And you've been there, like I said, three times, mm -hmm. but you've also been nominated for, for Breakthrough Artist. Yeah, yeah. So what would you tell somebody who's, like, this is their first dance? What oh, you, just enjoy it. Just enjoy every second of it and soak it up. You know, um, and, and, and that's all anybody can do at this point. I mean, you can't... Uh, you know, the, the, the whole thing around uh, award shows like this with, with voting and muscle and money and blah, blah, blah. You can't control any of that. So right. really, all you can control is how you feel about it and just show up and enjoy yourself and really uh, embrace the celebration of Canadian music that the Junos are, you know? It's amazing to me, too, um, in the last few years, several years now, how uh, country music has really uh, come together at the Junos. And this mm -hmm. year in particular, I mean, it's huge mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. Thanks to guys like you. Oh, gosh, thank you. I mean, so... so I don't I mean, know if I should be blamed for it or <laughs> take the credit for it. Dude, or, I don't credit. know. Take the credit. Yeah, thank you. That's very kind. <laughs> if somebody starts throwing around the blame, just shift it off to somebody else. Uh, this guy, he's, you know, <laughs> he played guitar on all those tracks, so... <laughs> it's his <laughs> fault. Mean. Here Comes the Thunder is his fault. Hey, <laughs> awesome. Um, so good luck, guys. Um, Thank you. And again, uh, Jeff, thanks for dropping by. I really, it's good to see you again. Great to and see you. And good to know that, I mean, the guy who is, you know, producer, co-producer of this is, is here too. So enjoy the show. I imagine you're looking forward to it. Very much so. I, I always love coming up here, you know, any chance and get, getting caught up with all the Canadian artists is fantastic. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Cheers.